This video on the British Pathé channel on YouTube is titled Margarine from Oil, 1940s to 1949. So in other words, it's sometime in the 1940s. I'm going to play the beginning of it and pause it and then see if we can work out where exactly it was filmed. I've turned the sound off and I'm running at a quarter speed. British Instructional Films presents an associated British Pathé production. Margarine from oil. The film goes on to describe how margarine is made from oil extracted from plants, not oil dug out of the ground. So here we see a tanker driving into the grounds of the premises. Trees and houses in the background. Car registration number there could be checked for some kind of year. And here's the clue. Towers Creameries, Mitcham. So that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? We know where that is, or was. Commerside East, Wimble Road. This is where the factory was. Today it's a housing estate. The reason this portion of Mitcham Common was built on, there was a workhouse built there first, and that predated the 1891 Act that saved the common. Zoom in a bit. So there are a couple of entrances to this estate. This one here doesn't seem likely. That's on Wimble Road and the view beyond it will be just all of the common. What's more likely is it's this entrance here which is opposite the access road to the houses on this part. This is also called Commerside East. This is a 1953 Ordnance Survey map. And let's go back to the video. Let's move it slightly back because it moved a bit out of shot. Let's leave it there. So there are houses in the background. We should be able to work out from today what those, if those houses are still there, that we are looking in the right place. Let's have a look at Google Street View, see what that gives us. So here's the view, Wimble Road, Commerside East, and here's the housing estate. And it's the access road that leads towards Commerside East, from Commerside East to Commerside East. Let's put the Street View guy down there. Uh, as it happens, there is now a food shop. It's only fairly recently opened. I hadn't seen it before. I was down there recently. And here's that access road that leads to the houses. Which we can't really see because of the trees. Can we look at some previous dates that Google Street View cars have been down here? The earliest one is June 2012. No, I lie. The earliest one is 2008. Ah, that was before that barrier was put there. The barrier was erected for uh, a vain attempt to try and stop trucks taking in rubbish and dumping it on the common. I think the barrier has been damaged now. We can see some houses at the back, but it's not particularly clear, is it? And the Google Street View car never went that way. Let's have a look at the want survey map again. The houses at the other side. There's a gap there, isn't there? So there's oh Walton Way. Can we use Walton Way? Can we go use the Google Street View to go into Walton Way? Can, but we can't see much. 
there's the housing estate over there. Be nice to have some kind of a drone, wouldn't it? I was over there a couple of weeks ago because I was helping out on the litter picking with the friends of Mission Common. A very bad idea that was because I suffered from hay fever and I had a pretty bad attack of sneezing. But there you go, things you do. What else can we do? How about a 3D view? So we can use the control key of the mouse to turn this around. Zoom in. And can we tilt this? Yes. Hmm. Not very good quality, is it? be could be that house there what's this one though this looks like an old house doesn't it or two of them let's have a look at another map view this is an apple map so let's see if we can get some kind of a 3d thing going on here So we can move this around as well. There's Walton Way and that house that blocked our view. This is the track coming up from opposite the housing estate now, the factory estate was then. And this building here, this house here, is the only one that's got a Tudor beam design in the gables at the front, which is basically that building, 339. But there's this gap. What am I not getting? We can't see the other side of that. There's the there's the house with the Tudor beams. There's this house. And there's some more housing. But the 1953 map shows a gap. Let's go back to an earlier map. This is 1910. The tower works. There's the access road. And that's Sherwood Lodge. Don't know when that was taken down. But according to Eric Montague in his book Mission Mysteries Number Three, Pollard's Hill, Commerce East and Lonesome, on page seventy six he says This villa appears as Sherwood on the eighteen ninety five Ordnance Survey map and a Sherwood Lodge in the nineteen ten revision, which is the one we're looking at here. The site of the house is now occupied by numbers three four one to three four three, Commerce East. It doesn't mention when it was actually demolished. Can we see those numbers somewhere? Google Maps sometimes shows house numbers. Annoyingly, it doesn't show for those ones. 339A. 339B. 349. It's all over the place. Let's try another approach. Fix my street, which you have to sign into to get the house numbers. And we zoom in. They will appear, <laughs> but not in this case. Hmm. So it looks like 339 followed by 349 so that's 1357 yeah okay so what 
entirely sure, but it's looking likely that that house over there is a part of 339. That structure there is Sherwood Lodge, which was demolished sometime after the 40s, but before the 1953 map was done, because the 1953 map shows a blank area. Yes. Well, I think I'm right. But one might find out is to say something wrong, and then loads of people will comment and correct me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Click on the like button if you can. If you if you click on the dislike button, could you leave a comment and say why? I've had a couple like that. I just what just wondered it's all, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching, um, subscribe, and um, until next time, bye.